The Marvelous Munchausen by William Rose Benet. Read for LibriVox.org by Squid Vajlakova. Found at Frisco Squid Blogspot.com. The Marvelous Munchausen. The snug little room with its brazier fire aglow, and Pia and Saxon room, all in the long ago. Oh, the very long ago. O'er their pipes in Holland scene, and on the wall the man o' war, and firelight on the screen. Their flowered, bulging waistcoats that wrinkle when they chuckle, the baron much mustachioed, and gay with star and buckle, and bristling in a uniform as scarlet as his cheeks, with choker lace beneath his chin, and splendid yellow breeks, the smoke drifts blue and bluer through that window. All the breeze are glinting sky and glinting sea beyond the Holland quays. Blue tiles, red bricks, the bustling wharves, with colors o'er a flam. Starched caps and rosy posy cheeks, the girls of Amsterdam. The snug little room with its brazier fire aglow. Oh, listen, will he tell them, as he told them long ago? Oh, very long ago, a laughing in his sleeve, the marvellous Munchausen, with the fables I believe. When I had sown the turkey beans that reached to the moon, and lifted all Westminster in the sling from my balloon, swung over the Atlantic, they peered from windows frantic, when eagle back I scanned the pole in broad eternal noon. In Queen Mab's chariot I ventured to the sea. Twas like a mammoth hazelnut, with matchless ory, a sparkle in its ceiling, with planet systems wheeling, and giddy comets sizzling all about the head of me. The nine bulls drew it, as stout as those of Crete, and all were shod with horrid skulls that clattered on their feet. Rich banners waved behind em, while on their backs to mind em, postilion crickets chirped them, all chirping loud and sweet. Ghost of the cape I warn you of, for he is bottle blue. We split his table mountain, he gibbered and he flew. The bull straight showed his feature with gazing on the creature, stampeding in the harness when I gave the view halloo. Though wrecked on Egypt's obelisks, disaster I defied, and harnessed Sphinx, the Emperor's gifts, to tow an ark as wide as Great Westminster, with bow and bell and spinster, and cleric, clerk, and coronet, all tete a inside. "'Good folk, we sail for Africa,' said I to all my train. "'When bold Munchausen leads you forth, what laggard dares remain, in slippered ease, uncaring, to share my deeds of daring? The cheers amazed my modesty, and more had made me vain. "'The sultan's bees I've shepherded, I've horn-piped at Marseilles, where gulped me down, well nigh to drown the liveliest of whales. I'm riskiest of riskers, but blow me my grizzled whiskers. I cried, May jackals gnaw my bones, if now Munchausen fails. By night the lions roared at us, by day the simoons came, and swept across our caravan in sandy clouds of flame. But not dismayed our temper, or the genial Afric emperor, had missed my handsome greeting, "'Twas long-abiding shame. "'The people of the mountains of the moon I wined and dined. "'I reigned in Gristariska, when his majesty declined. "'Reforms I brought untiring, with Gog and Magog squiring, "'and Frosticos, my bosom friend, who lent a legal mind. "'For last superb achievement, bright tears my envy shed. "'I built a bridge from Africa to distant England spread.' No edifice of fable, nay, not the Tower of Babel, surpassed at mammoth glory in the heavens over a head. So back across its noble arch my retinue and I advanced with blaring trumpets to the regions of the sky, till it lingered to enwreath us, earth kingdoms far beneath us, and martial music cheered our march from all the birds that fly. The snug little room with its brazier fire aglow and Pia and Saxon room, all sleeping long ago, oh so very long ago, and, chuckling in his sleeve, still o'er the slumping table, drone droning in his fable, 
the marvelous Munchausen, with the stories, I believe. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.